Welcome to Mainly Reading. My name is John. Wanted to go over today um, every PB Swiss tool I own, what I like, what I dislike, um, and just how I feel about the brand in general. I have been using PB Swiss products for about a year, I'd say, um, and I have a somewhat decent collection of stuff from them. Now, let me adjust that a little bit better. Yep. Um, we're going to go over it piece by piece and go from there. Um, we're going to start with some stubbies. So, there's one, here is two, and here is three. If you guys would like, I can link everything uh, down below or just put a list down below. The suppliers I get everything from are Tool Lady which I do not buy from anymore, really. Once in a while I will still, if I find something on there that other places don't carry, but DRPD is the one I buy from most of the time. Um, I think the guy who runs his name is Mike. He's awesome. Um, place is awesome. If you want to buy something, just something like this, you can, and don't have to worry about a crazy shipping price. Um, Amazon also has some PB Swiss stuff, hit or miss, um, check prices on different sites. Don't get screwed. Okay, um, a regular Phillips head number two, stubby, um, is pretty, pretty short. Let me get a little tape measure here. Sorry about this, should have had this ready. Here is from tip to tail, you're looking at about th a little over three and a quarter, uh, three and three eighths, about three and three eighths um, for this little guy. Um, nice little stubby, it is their Swiss grip, that is the part number right there, I'll show the camera. And the Swiss grip I have zero complaints with, it's super... Uh, it's super grippy, feels good in the hand, works good. I don't use this too often. As you can tell, it looks brand new. Um, next, I bought this little number four um, slotted stubby. This one's smaller in diameter and length than this guy because it's a smaller blade. Um, this guy is approximately three inches to the bottom. These are also very nicely labeled on the butts, I should tell. Um, everything on PB Swiss does has lifetime guarantee. Even these, these are individually serialized. Even this tiny stubby, you can see that number right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. I can't tell in the viewfinder, but I think you can. This one is two. Again, this one's a little bit smaller. It's a lot lighter than this guy, um, but same exact grip. Feels really good in the hand. It is a cabinet tip. Um, so it does step down. I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. Um, next, one of my all-time favorites from PB Swiss that I own. As you can tell, this guy has been... I've used and abused this guy. It's one of my favorite tools I think I own. Um, I use it all the time. It lives in my pocket most of the time. It is the... I'll have to get the part number. I don't know the... I can't... It, it doesn't say here. I'll get the part number. It, it was a, it's the insider stubby or whatever they call it. Um, it has a bit carousel on the bottom, holds uh, six bits on the bottom for seven in total with one in the tip is what I carry. I always carry a Phillips head number two in the tip. Um, and I have a bunch of assorted bits in here. My kind of, I've changed this loadout for what works best for me. Um, you do hear a little bit of a rattle. When you shake this, that's not a big deal. Figured I'd point it out. Um, PB Swiss magnets are stupidly strong um, and they hold the bit really good. It does spin, like I showed, um, and it does spin inside too. So you can, if you want to palm spin this, you can. Um, absolutely phenomenal. My favorite stubby I have. Um, I have a bunch of other stubbies and I just don't like using any other one but this. The kind of crowning up here at the tops of them, um, all these, 
I know if it's, I don't know if it's just made for, um, kind of, so it doesn't roll around, but it is awesome to kind of keep your palm right there and spin it with your fingers. Amazing tool. I absolutely love that thing. Um, I do have the wear. I have Wii ones. I have Klein ones. I have other ones, and I don't like any of them other than this guy. I don't have, or I have one ratcheting one, but I don't really use it often. Um, next, Ooh, get these guys out of the way. Put these off to the side. Um, next, I bought this, and I didn't realize how tiny it was. Um, I didn't really pay attention to size. I thought it was just a standard one. I didn't know you could pick the individual size on the uh, on the uh, website. I think I bought this from Tool Lady. Uh, this is individually serialized though, but that tip is incredibly tiny. That's the part number right, right. Hello, come on, right there. Um, I, I'll I'll probably never use this, but it is kind of cool how incredibly tiny they made that tip. <laughs> um, this I have used a few times. It's a, uh, I think it's a Phillips Zero. It doesn't actually say, yeah it is. It's a, it's an insulated Phillips Zero up to a thousand volts. Um, nice little, again, Swiss grip, insulated up to right there, obviously, as you can see. Tip is pretty nice on it, um, obviously. Swiss made, all this stuff is Swiss made, I don't know if I said that or not. Obviously it's PB Swiss. Sorry about the phone. Again, tells you on the butt what it is. The st uh, stubby with bits does not tell you what it is. It's just a black, black cap. All right, now here's one of the first things I bought from PB Swiss. Right here is just a Swiss grip bit holder, magnetic bit holder. Looks good. It is the PB8451 10-30N. So again, Swiss grip handle feels really good in my hand. And just a good little bit holder. Magnet strength, as per usual with PB Swiss, is phenomenal. This one on the butt just holds. We just had a little circle. Probably a stand for the circle that, you know, your bit goes into. Works good, is a little bit better. Um, here is a slotted number three. Regular size slotted, whatever, 100 millimeter shaft or whatever, uh, 120. It is the PB8100-3. Here's part. Works good, has that same exact cabinet tip. Super nice. Again, Swiss grip does tell you what it is in the butt. Um, has a bunch of these pitting marks on it. Um, that's from a cat. <laughs> um, so here is the next one. It is a Phillips head number two, standard length, kind of the same standard length driver, although the slot is a little bit taller. Um, 8190. Tells you exactly what it is on the top, that's the number two. Um, tip is pretty nice. Again, not perfect, but it's, it's a super nice screwdriver. Um, next is something I've never used because I just found it in my bit bag that I didn't know where I put it. It's a chisel. I haven't used it yet. Um, it is a, it's a beefy chisel, but it's super sharp. It'll work good. Here is a offset number two Phillips. This is also serialized, knurled here. I wish the knurling was a little bit more aggressive, but it works good. Um, I bought this for like door handles and stuff like that. If you're trying to like really not strip something out on a door handle, it does work good for that. I do wish it was a little bit slimmer. All the way, all the way across. <sighs> like arm length is a little bit slimmer and everything. Is, you know to that you know what I mean that that's still well over an inch from that 90 
here is a PB820 820HG serialized chisel with a handle and a nice striking cap. It does have a little pommel here, so you don't strike yourself or to save your hand a little bit if you're hitting it with a hammer. I have used this a few times. It's not showing anywhere yet, which is super good. The, ha the shaft is kind of like hexagonal, um, and it is Swiss grip again for the same material. A little bit, it feels a little bit coarser, actually, which I kind of like. Here's the ribs. There's the tip on it. Super nice. Here's a tool that I kind of just bought on a Black Friday sale, just for the hell of it, and I've used it a lot, and I'm very happy I have it. It is the seal scraper. It is awesome. This handle is thick. I love it. I'll compare it to this PB or this number two Phillips handle, and as you can see. It dwarfs it almost. It's it's I, I like it a lot. I really do. And it has a super nice. It's not a carbide scraper. It's just a. It's just made for like to scrape seals. And I've used it to scrape a bunch of caulking off. Um, plumber's putty stuff like that that's stuck to um, underneath sinks. Pulled vanity tops off. Scraped the caulking off those. Um, you scrape anything on metal really works super well um, yeah it, it's super nice and it's their acetate handle it's the vanilla scenty vanilla scented okay um, we'll go with this guy next it's a 6510R Insider Pro 100 millimeter shaft 10 bits it holds here big beefy handle about the same size or a little bit bigger actually than the seal scraper handle. Um, this one doesn't have a serial number on it, which I've always thought was kind of weird. Um, but you have your little ratcheting selector right here. Loosen and tighten, or the opposite way. Um, your bit bit holders right here, pop that out, it comes down in an L form, and you have 10 bits here, and I always throw on a tip, which makes 11. The ratcheting mechanism is pretty decent. Um, I'm not going to get too technical with the ratcheting on it. Um, I haven't used too many other ratcheting screwdrivers. And there's other channels out there that have done Full videos on it. Um, HTR just did one. Project Farm has a really good one too. Um, and there's a bunch of other uh, out there too. If you're interested, I can link it down below too. Um, we're going to pull off the screwdrivers for two seconds and we're going to go to this bit holder, this bit case from PB Swiss. Um, this thing is all right. Um, it, it, it works. It works well. Um, you do have to be careful with. If you store these big bits in it, you have to be careful where you put them due to this. And if you store one uh, quarter inch driver in there, you have to kind of put these in certain spots. But this is how I have it laid out. I'm not going to get too in depth in this. I've done this before in a video. It works. It's too bulky for me. Um, I throw it in the bottom of my bag. It's a little too bulky, or it's a little bulkier than I'd like it to be. That's the bit case, and these, the bit case I think was like 10 bucks, and these are sold individually for like three bucks a piece, and five fits in here. Each one holds 10 bits, so there's, there could be 50 bits in here technically. I have some big hex bits, um, so that kind of limits space a little bit, but. All right, and last of my PB Swiss tools, but not least, is this 6465.red. 100 millimeter shaft. It is the insider long. It stores eight bits in the bottom, pulls out, spins just like the stubby, spins while it's like this too. Has a couple gripping points here. I've done a full review on all of this stuff, I think. So if you're interested in kind of more in-depth, a little bit more in-depth anyway, 
feel free to take a look. Um, it does have like a step out, which is kind of weird compared to, let's say, the normal bit driver. The normal bit driver compared to this guy has a step out. Um, also, one thing I'm kind of always been curious of is the shaft on this guy. Now, I'm going to scratch this because that's the only way you're going to be able to hear or know what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but if you compare that to any of these, say this guy, you know what I mean? I don't know what the right word is, but... It's like, I don't know, it's different, different. Um, this guy is not the Swiss grip. Obviously, it is the same handle as this guy, same material, vanilla scented, still smells like vanilla, um, has the same kind of textured um, crown here. Again, magnet strength's awesome. Um, so, pricing, um, PB Swiss is expensive flat out. It's not always worth it. Um, this thing is a hundred dollars, 89 bucks with shipping, probably a hundred, um, unless you get free shipping. It's not worth that. Um, it is a good ratcheting screwdriver. It's nowhere near worth a hundred dollars. I got this on a Black Friday sale and it was 50% off. Um, so, you know, I'm happy with it for what I paid for it. If I paid hundred dollars for it, I wouldn't be happy with it. This is about forty. Um, if this was a little bit cheaper, I'd say it's a good deal. I like this thing. Um, there are some complaints people have with it. This is loose. Um, I've used it a lot, and this has. I mean, you don't put any pressure on it when this thing's out. You pull your bit out, throw the old bit back in, close it. Um, the gripping points are not the best on this guy. <sighs> The, the old one was a screw off, um, which I think they still sell once somewhere. Um, it is discontinued, I believe. The handle, the acetate handle, um, it, it does work well. I do like it if you're dealing with a lot of oil, it's not gonna be your best friend. Um, but I don't know how these handle oil. I don't get oily. Um, if I get oily, it's because I'm changing oil in a car. Or normally if I'm oily or something, I'm not necessarily using this kind of genre of hand tools. Um, just not in what I do. I'm not saying nobody can, but not in what I do. Um, I, I mean, I like it. So I, I, I like this guy. Um, this bit, it's just a bare bones kind of bit driver. This you shouldn't pay more than like 10 bucks for, but I think I paid like close to 20. The Swiss grip handle is, is good though, I, I do like that. These screwdrivers right here, each of these 12 bucks I think was about each, which is expensive. Um, not, you're, not, you're not getting close to snap-on yet. Is it glass? Do I say glass on this table? I don't know. You're not at snap-on prices yet. Um, lifetime guaranteed though. So if you ever have a problem with it, they'll replace it for you. Um, like I already mentioned, this thing's not worth the price. They sell the ratcheting one in a Swiss grip too. Um, just a twister, it doesn't have a bit compartment. I wish they made one with the Swiss grip with the bit carousel like this. Even if it had um, a couple more bits, say eight, say seven, I think that would be awesome. Um, they do sell a stubby ratcheting, a ratcheting stubby too, but uh, it has the same exact ratcheting mechanism as this guy. So it's really thick. Picture, picture this with this on it. That's what it is. <laughs> um, this I think is absolutely phenomenal. It is more expensive, yes, but I think this, obviously everything is subjective. Everything's my point of view from what I use and what I really like. This um, you can buy on Amazon once in a while for like 28 bucks. Um, I think I bought this for like 20. If you go on DRPD, I think he has two versions. He has a VO1 and a VO2. They discontinued those, and it's just the one, I think, now um, that comes with Torx. This one, when I originally bought it, came with a 4, 5, and 6 mil hex. Um, a couple Phillips, a couple slotted. Obviously, I've changed that. 
like I mentioned. But the other one will come with a 10, 15, and 20 Torx. Um, these, I don't even remember how much I paid for them. Um, but I think any, any singular... Uh, there's probably better, much better values out there on, on these. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest those. This thing's awesome. Um, there are scrapers out there though that are probably better value. You can even get a carbide scraper cheaper than you buy this. Um, it's a cheaper carbide scraper. It's not going to be a high quality carbide scraper, but you can buy one. Um, Doc has a few videos on those guys. This is pretty cool. I don't remember. I think this is like twenty bucks. I think that's pretty decent for a chisel. Um, a really high quality chisel. I, I think that's pretty decent. Or 15 bucks, I think I might have paid for that. Um, these guys kind of just dub items. Um, I don't remember, seven bucks maybe, five, five, seven bucks a piece, really not bad. Um, PB Swiss bits are stupid. Um, one singular Phillips two bit is gonna cost you like 250. Um, that's not worth it. Their bits aren't anything incredible. Um, they're not worth that amount of money. I won't say their bits are bad. I have broken several slotted bits um, from them, screwdriver bits. Not an impact. Um, you put one of their slotted bits in this guy and you, you torque something and you're gonna break it. Uh, that's why I don't have one in here. I have, a Do uh, I think this is a Wera. This is a Wera uh, one and I have a beefy one in the back there. Right there. Um, the Torx bits, their their other bits work work, work super well. Um, obviously, they're just a bit. I haven't broken any Phillips bits. I've worn them down like crazy, but um, uh, overall, I really like the brand. I wish they'd branch off into more tools. They don't really do anything with pliers. They don't really do much um, anything like that. It'd be really cool to see their swing at like a really precision um, needle nose or precision, you know, more precise stuff. Um, it'd also be cool if they like made a precision set um, instead of their like insider precision thing. I thought those were kind of subpar. Um, I, I didn't, I don't really like those that much. Um, uh, there's other videos out there on them if you're interested in what I'm, what I'm what I am uh, concerned about on them. Uh, they do sell a bunch of bits. They sell a bunch of locking bit holders. Uh, bit holders, those are <laughs> very expensive. $20 or something crazy. Um, I mean, overall, I like the brand, but just shop around. Um, don't just buy it because it's Swiss made or whatever. Same thing with Snap-on, you know. But, I mean, I, I'm happy with this stuff. I don't regret buying any of it, so do with that what you will. Um, like I say, if I could pick three tools out of here to keep and that, say I had to buy three tools, these two and the last one's kind of a toss up. Um, honestly, I'd take this just because I use it so often now. Anyways, um, I figured it might be kind of interesting to see and to discuss this. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Um, and if you think I'm wrong about something, go ahead. And if you use PP Swiss, let me know what you use and what your favorite item of theirs is. Bye-bye.